So does anybody have any thoughts or ideas about how they may go about doing this? Hands? No hands? Mm -hmm. Victims are going to have to pick? Okay, good. Triangle. Okay, good idea. Uh, what made you think triangle? Uh, just thinking that it's the way to play catch, so I just move around and then triangle shape. Alright, cool. Alright. Anybody else? Any thoughts on the triangles? What kind of tools would we use? Anybody have any thoughts, ideas to make things them equal distances? Um, I guess we'd be using a ruler. Okay. Good idea. So, taking those things into account. There we go. So, ruler would be a great idea. Especially if they have a chance to write it down. We'll go over that in a little bit. So, shape wise, triangle was a great idea. But you can't really tell whether or not the triangle is going to be the right shape or not. So, let's think of something that would have, no matter what point, it's going to be the distance from the middle. So, if we were thinking of a shape, if you were in the center of a shape, what shape, no matter where you are on the edge of the shape, would it be the same distance? A circle. A circle, okay. There we go, a circle. Okay, so. We've worked with inscribed angles before, correct? So, we know that if we put a triangle inside, if we make a triangle in a circle, we can find out using arcs and things like that, the length of the triangle, and try to find if it's equilateral or not. So, we put the triangle in there, and we know in the midpoint, we know that the radius is always the same distance from where you go. Of course, these points are not straight. Obviously, these lines are not from the radius but we can find another one. So, it's a good start. Let's go from there. So, today we're working with constructions. So, as we mentioned before, a ruler would be a great idea. Also, another tool which would be really great, it's called a compass. So, nice out there, everybody. Okay, so not everybody may be familiar with how to use a compass. How to use it again. So, this is... how to use a project. So this may be a little bit different than a compass you're normally used to using. It's called a safety compass. This way nobody can poke themselves with little points on the compasses anymore. <laughs> so, just like the that picture shows, uh, basically you put your finger in the middle. So let's go over the do now, right? So we were working with our circle. So how do you draw a perfect circle? Nobody can do it by hand. Oh, unless. What was it? Uh, da Vinci, I think, could do it? He could draw a perfect circle? Probably. Yeah, so... Well, with an artist, too, so... Oh, it's actually a perfect So all you do is you, push, you put your finger right in the center, right in the focal point right there, and then you put your pencil in one of the holes. And all you gotta do is draw like that. Just keep it in the same hole, and it'll get that circle going. And then you got your perfect circle. And conveniently enough, not only is it a compass, but it is also a straight edge ruler. So it makes life easy. No more of losing a ruler or losing a compass. You have everything. Just don't lose that one thing. <laughs> okay. Now, let's. Uh, what's the next one? So everybody turn to the next page. As I said, the tools you'll be using straight edge ruler. This is the old school compass you guys may be a little more familiar with. Uh, okay, so let's go over a quick review, okay? Now, does everybody remember what a line segment is? Okay, who wants to tell me what a line segment is? Okay, what's a line segment? Okay, you want to come up here and draw the line segment? Between two points A and B, containing the set consisting of A and B, and any points in between there. Okay? Now, the circle. Now, we all are very familiar with circles, I would hope. Does anybody know the definition of a circle? That may be one that we may not always remember. Does anybody actually remember it? Kevin, you're an all star today. Set of points equal to some point given point? Right, so given a point. In this case, point zero, point o, uh, and a number. We're going to say r because it's going to represent our radius, uh, and it's always going to be your center. 
basically the radius is for the set of all points. So any point that distance away from our point O is in a form of circle. Now, who wants to give it a try and draw the circle on the, on here using the uh, compass tool? The compass tool on. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to do it. I just need a volunteer. Oh, I'll do it. Okay, cool. Okay, cover up behind my head. So this is really easy. You can do you can do it with your finger on this one. So in this case, we actually have a little compass tool here. Brings it up right there. It looks like the old tool compass. Don't get too afraid, they'll work just the same. Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna push out the pencil. There we go. Push out that. And then now you're gonna take the uh, marker and you're just gonna hold it down and you're just gonna yep, and draw all the way around in a circle. And there you go, and that's our perfect circle. Thank you, great job. Okay, now, lastly, kind of in our circle definition, we had our radius <coughs> definition, so we can go right to that. So it's the segment from the center of the circle to a point on the circle, representing half the distance. Okay, let's go over our first example of what we just learned. Now, Margie, she lives at home, no kids, no husband. She has three cats, though, okay? <laughs> They are named Simon, Jojo, and what was the third one's name? Mac. Okay. She found out through the grapevine that cats like to position themselves equal distances from each other in a room. Okay? So, what way may we be able to figure out where her cat Mac may be hanging out? Doing from what we've just learned. Anybody have any ideas? Using hinted circles, compasses, and triangles. Um, um, Take a moment, use your compass, see if you can figure out a way that you can make a connection between the point and where Mac might be sitting. I remember guys, today is a day of exploration. We're hitting territory we haven't used yet, so this is a big day for exploring and trying to find things out. So there's no way of doing anything wrong. Joe, and then I just made the line going up from there. Okay, so you, you use this as your center, and then you use this as your as your radius, essentially? Yeah. So you had the line like this, and then you made your circle. Yes. There you go, that's good. Okay. So, and then what did you do after that? And then I did the same thing for Jojo. Okay. To Simon. Yes. Like that? Yes. Okay, and then of course, have the rest of the circle going this way and the rest of the circle going this way. Okay, so so then you where would you where would Mac be then based on that? Um, Mac is on the bookcase somewhere. On the bookcase? Yes. Perfect. Now, do you know why Mac would be on that bookcase? Other than the fact that they intersect, do you know what the importance of that is? Um, they said that they're equal distances from each other. Right. So. We know that this one right here between Jojo and what is it, Sam, Simon, that's the radius, right? So we know that any point on this line here is the same as the distance from, jo from Jojo to Simon. And then we know, because we drew another circle, that the distance from Simon to Jojo is the radius there. And then on this point, any point in time, that's the radius. And we know that because we're using the same radius, Jojo, the same line segment, Jojo to Simon, that they're the same, the circles are the same size. And because of that, we know 
At some point, when those two circles meet, they're going to be the same from here to here. Because this is the radius from Simon, center, to the end of the circle, and the same thing for Jojo to the end of the circle. Okay? So good job, guys. Let's check out the next one. Okay. So this is a quick little overview, basically what we just did. Uh, basically, Euclid, back in the days of ancient Greece, he was the man to be. He basically is the father of geometry. So, in the wild, wild west that was Alexandria in Greece, this is the way he did things. Okay? So, basically the same thing that we did. Um, does anyone want to read this really quickly for us? No? No one, no one ever wants to read it. Okay, so basically it's going over this, if we'll read it in our spare time for now. Uh, basically it's going over the steps of how you would find, you know, the equilateral triangle. 